Hey guys, what's up? This is Sparks, and I'm going to show you guys how to install the Hats mod for Minecraft. So anyway, if you guys check out the link in the description, it's going to take you right to this website, and this is the Hats mod website. So you guys can check it out here. You guys can see what's actually in the mod and all that kind of stuff. Um, but anyway, you guys are going to want to skip over to the download section, and you guys are going to want to see this right here. This is kind of small, yeah, where you guys can't see it. Um, but it's, you're going to see the download links to so download whatever uh, version you guys are actually in Minecraft, and just download that version there, and save it to your desktop. Uh, just like this right here. So anyway, once you guys have that done, the second link you actually guys are going to need is the download uh, the Minecraft Forge Universal. So if you, you click in the link in the description of the Minecraft Forge, it can take you right to this website. You guys are always going to want to download the very top version. And you guys are always going to want to download the Universal version right there. So it will be the current version of Minecraft. It will always be updated to the current version. So anyway guys, once you guys have the Hats mod downloaded and the Minecraft Forge from both of those links in the description, you guys are ready to install this mod. But the third link that I'm actually going to show you guys how to install is Optifine. Optifine is a mod that uh, it is not required for this Hats mod, but it is a great mod for Minecraft lag. And uh, it helps you guys with your Minecraft lag and it will, yeah, it is compatible with this mod so you guys don't have to worry about that. Um, again, it is not required for this mod, so if you guys don't want to install it, that is perfectly fine. So anyway, once you guys have those downloaded, you guys are ready to start. So you guys are going to want to click on Minecraft. Once it is open, you're going to see this options button right here. You want to click on options. You want to force update your game. Click done and log in. The reason why we're force updating my game is because I already have mods installed. And I don't know if those mods are actually compatible with the Hats mod. So it's always a really good idea to force update your game uh, to get rid of any other mods that might not be compatible. Um, if you guys don't in, uh, force update your game and you guys get a black screen, it's probably because you guys had mods installed. Um, one quick note, Minecraft Forge is not compatible with Minecraft uh, Mod Loader. So if you guys have Mod Loader installed, you're definitely going to want to force update your game, and then you guys can install, install Forge and you won't have a black screen. So anyway, guys, once you guys have force updated your game to the current version, you know, you're going to want to close Minecraft. Make sure Minecraft is always closed when installing mods. Now that you have downloaded all uh, the Minecraft Forge and the Hats mod from the description, you guys are ready to and force update. You guys are ready to install. So if you guys see in this uh, percent app that a percent in the very bottom left hand corner there, you guys are going to want to go to start. You guys are going to want to type in the start a percent a p p d a t a. This percent app that and another percent. Now I'm using Windows 7, so I can just type it in there, and I can see this roaming folder up here. Once you guys have typed in percent app that percent, you're going to want to click on this roaming folder. Once you guys have clicked on that roaming folder, you're going to see this dot Minecraft folder on the very top. You're going to want to open this dot Minecraft folder. You're going to see bin resources and saves here. You're going to want to open the bin. Now, once you guys have opened the bin, you guys are going to see this Minecraft executable, executable dot jar file right here. So if you guys just try to open Minecraft right there, it is not going to let you. So you're going to want to right click on Minecraft and open it with WinRAR. Um, now, and you are able to open it with WinRAR. Now, if you guys don't already have WinRAR installed, there will be a link in the description so you guys can download it and install it there. And then you guys can rewind this video and, sh and I'll show you guys exactly how to get to this point. So anyway, guys, once you guys have it open with Minecraft, the Minecraft.jar open with WinRAR, you guys are going to see this MetaInf folder right there. You're going to want to right-click on MetaInf, delete the files, and you're going to want to say yes. Now, you always want to delete MetaInf in there because it does not allow your mods to run in Minecraft. So anyway, guys, once you guys have the meta inf uh, deleted, you guys are going to want to open the Minecraft Forge Universal version for your current version. And you're going to want to open this, uh, like I said, open the Minecraft Forge version. You guys are going to see the meta inf folder there also. You're going to want to leave it there though because that is part of Forge and I'm not sure exactly why, but you just want to leave it there. So anyway, well, once you guys have the Minecraft Forge open, and you're going to want to select all. And you guys are going to want to drag all these files right into the Minecraft.jar that you guys opened with WinRAR. Now you guys push OK and you guys are done with the Minecraft Forge. Now again, I'm going to show you guys how to install the Optifine uh, to make sure you guys download the, the current version of Optifine for your current version of Minecraft. Uh, this actual th this installation will work for any version of Minecraft as long as the links are all updated to the current version. So yeah. Uh, anyway, guys, Optifine is not required for this mod. I'm just going to show you guys how to install it. So uh, anyway, once you guys have Optifine open. You guys are going to want to select all, again, like the Forge, you're going to want to drag all these files right into the Minecraft.jar of the open with WinRAR. Push OK, and you guys are completely done with Optifine, and you guys are also done with the Minecraft.jar of the open with WinRAR, so you can have start with that. Now, you're going to want to be back where you guys opened the Minecraft.jar originally, and you guys are going to want to click back one, where you see bin resources and saves again. If you guys have accidentally exited out of this, or minimized it, or you guys don't know where I'm currently at, how we got to this was with percent at that percent, then we went to the rowing folder, and then we went to Minecraft, 
And now you, this is where you see bin resources and save. So anyway, once you're here, you're going to want to select uh, add a new folder and you want to call this folder MODS, all under caps mods, push enter. Then you're going to want to open this mods folder and you're going to want to drag the hats mod right into the folder that is empty. That is the mods folder. So anyway, guys, once you guys have done that, you guys are completely done with installation and you guys can play the hats mod for Minecraft. So if this video helped you guys out at all, please give this video a like. If you guys are getting a black screen, again, it's probably because you guys didn't follow this video exactly like I showed you. And you just didn't force update your game, which you guys already had mods installed. So yeah, that's probably why you guys are having black screen. If you guys are having this, just force update your game and rewatch this video exactly like I do it. And you guys should be perfectly fine. So again, you guys can check out the link in the description for this mod. Uh, please give that the mod maker uh, good support on this. He actually worked pretty hard on this, and it was pretty awesome. So anyway, guys, thank you guys again so much for watching, and subscribe for more mods.